Finally, U.S. deadliest Attackums missile is already in Ukraine. One weapon is the Attackums. That was too dangerous for the West to give to Ukraine. Ukraine has been requesting it for over seven months. All for naught. Until now when the United States. It appears that the missiles will be sent out in an infinite number. In terms of batches, this shift in thinking occurred after Russia accomplished the impossible. Russia launched a lethal barrage of missiles against civilian targets on October 10, 2022, a busy Monday morning in Ukraine. The strike served no military purpose. Before go to complete videos, please take a second, subscribe our channel, and become a part of Military Lover Family. Hope you have subscribed the channel, let's start the video. Russia. Ukraine was simply bombarded with 84 cruise missiles and 24 drones, resulting in a humanitarian disaster. However, of the missiles and drones fired at Ukraine, President Zelensky stated that Ukrainian forces shot down 56, noting that Western countries supporting Ukraine have increased their commitments to provide Ukraine with not only air defense systems to shoot down incoming Russian artillery, but also the most advanced Western weapons to keep Ukrainian forces in an offensive position as they take on their invaders. The Army Tactical Missile System, or ATACAMS, is one weapon capable of meeting such expectations and has a track record of doing so. It is operated from a platform Ukraine has already grown accustomed to in high Mars. This is significant because combined there will be no land-based weapon of the Ukrainian forces more lethal than the High Mars and Atacams. High Mars and Atoms, one day after the U.S. attacks on Ukraine on October 10, Ukraine received four M142 high mobility artillery rocket systems, also known as High Mars. This would be the fifth batch of four High Mars systems delivered by the U.S. to Ukraine. Since the beginning of the conflict in February, the U.S. has sent a total of 20 High Mars to Ukraine. The invading Russian forces have been concerned about the High Mars. By the second delivery batch, the eight Ukrainian High Mars successfully destroyed 30 Russian command stations and ammunition storage facilities at the time, significantly reducing the intensity of Russian shelling and slowing their advance in eastern Ukraine. Recognizing the High Mars lethality, Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu directed his forces to prioritize destroying them and bringing them back to Russia. The HIMARS is the most dangerous weapon available to the Ukrainian forces. The HIMARS is an American light multiple rocket launcher developed for the U.S. Army to attack, neutralize, suppress, and destroy targets using indirect precision. It is made up of two main components. The first is the new, highly mobile, and rugged family of medium tactical vehicles which powered by 290 HP Caterpillar 30, 115 at AAC. The 6.6-liter diesel engine has a range of 300 miles and a top speed of 53 miles per hour. The launcher, which is mounted on the first, holds, aims, and fires the missiles that wreak havoc on targets. These missiles could be one of two types, GNRS or ATACAMS. The GNRS carries a 200-pound high-explosive unitary warhead with an additional 50-pound PBX-109 high-explosive in a steel blast fragmentation case, which fires a cluster of 182,000 free-formed tungsten fragments. Six GNLRS rockets with a maximum range of 57 miles can be loaded into the High Mars launcher at the same time after impact. That's just enough to protect the Ukrainian territory. The Atakums, on the other hand, goes even further. With a maximum firing range of 190 miles, the missile can protect Ukrainian territory or fly deep into Russian territory to attack. The Atakum is 13 feet long, 24 inches wide, weighs 3,690 pounds, and wields a 500-pound WDU-18B penetrating high explosive blast fragmentation warhead. Once fired, the surface-to-surface -surface missile can fly as high as 160,000 feet at a top speed, in excess of Mach 3 for precision. The attack uses a GPS-aided inertial navigation guidance system to ensure that the missile hits its target exactly or within 30 feet of it. 
the HIMARS can only be loaded with one Attackum at a time. Although its lid is patterned with six circles, as is the lid of a standard GMLR's rocket, this identical pattern makes it more difficult for enemy intelligence to identify and attack. The HIMARS trucks that hold the more lethal, more decisive high-value Attackum's rockets, which cost at least six times the $160,000 unit cost of the smaller GNRs. A single Attackum costs more than $1 million to fire. This cost could soon be reflected in the weapon's capabilities in defending Ukraine, should it need to. The Attackums, however, would not be the only heavy rocket artillery involved in the war, as Russia has some representatives of its own, such as the OTR-21 Tachka and 9K-720 Iskinder, both of which could compete in terms of specifications with the Attackums. Tachka and Iskinder heavy artillery weapons are decisive weapons, so decisive that whichever country between the US and Russia possesses the more powerful of these weapons, which would most likely win a conventional battle between the two countries. The Attackums, representing the United States, are the main contenders for both countries. The OTR-21 Tasca and the 9K-720 Iskander represent the Russians. All three missiles can carry both conventional and nuclear warheads, though their range varies greatly. The Attackums has a range of 190 miles, the Tachka has a range of 43 miles, and the Iskander has a range of 310 miles. The Attackums can travel faster than Mach 3, while the Tachka can travel faster than Mach 53, and the Iskander can travel faster than Mach 59. All of our guidance systems come with GPS-aided inertial navigation and a passive radar, while the Tachka offers an inertial guidance system. The Iskander combines both GPS and inertial guidance, giving you greater accuracy. The Atacums usually lands at most 30 feet away from its target, the Tachka 492 feet away from its target, and the Iskinder 22 feet away from its target. In terms of cost, the Attackums cost $1 million, the Tacha costs $300,000, and the Iskinder costs $3 million. The performance of these missiles' launch platforms is also critical. The Attackums can be launched from either the wheeled High Mars or the Track M270 and RS a 290 HP Caterpillar 3115. At AAC, 6.6 liter diesel powers the high Mars. It has a top speed of 53 miles per hour and a maximum operational range of 300 miles. It has a three-person crew and can only carry one Attackums rocket at a time. The MLRS is powered by a Cummins VTA 903 diesel engine with 600 horsepower. It has a top speed of 40 miles per hour and a maximum operational speed of 300 miles. It has a three-man crew and can carry two attack missiles at once. The Baz 5921 Mobile Tell Vehicle serves as the Tosca's launch platform. A 295 or D diesel engine powers the vehicle. We're on the constant lookout for new and fresh information about the latest military technology developed in U.S. Let us know what you think in the comments section, because it helps us to keep going. We hope you liked this video. Share it with your friends and subscribe our channel for more interesting videos. See you at the next one.